Hey everybody, good morning. It's Caitlin here with Meraki Media Management and today is Thursday, so I'm here with your tip of the week. And um, you know, I just wanted to go over, again, we're all still in quarantine. It's like every day when I make these tips of the weeks, um, you know, a couple extra days is added on. And our topic this week, which really does revolve around quarantine, is how to not be like so obsessed with your phone. Um, I know for me, this has been a huge challenge right now. And I think that it has to do with obviously just everything going on and we want to be in the know we want to know what other people are doing it's almost like we have a little bit of FOMO even though everybody's at home doing the exact same thing social media is the only way for us to stay in touch and in times like this you know we can really overuse it and even get into some negative habits so you know negative habits that can form from social media is self-doubt, self-critiquing, um, comparisonitis, um, and just negative energy. Like honestly, you know, I do this for a living, so I've been able now to perfect my feed that I enjoy looking at while I'm working, um, which is, you know, a whole nother training in itself and a whole nother tip in itself, but it's really important that you all do not get into comparisonitis. And I know, you know, as small business loans are coming out, some people got them, some people didn't. Um, and it can cause a lot of chaos in our brains, especially that little voice in the back of our heads um, that can be super negative and really take over our whole day, right? Um, so as a business owner right now, you really need to take your own thoughts, your own actions into your own hands. If you are struggling when you're on social media, take a breather. You know, something that I do is we only practice 20 minutes a day on each account and that is it. Like we limit our time. Um, this morning I was on, you know, I won't hop on again unless I get a message from somebody that I need to answer right away for a call set up. Um, then I won't be on my phone on Meraki Media until, you know, tomorrow morning. So you just need to really limit your time. And one of the best ways to do this is by putting your downtime on your phone. I gave directions. I will give directions again in my stories today of how you can set that up for yourself. Um, this is great also if you have kids. Um, it turns off like it like sleeps their apps so they don't get notifications like even when you're getting DMs from people and I have mine starting at 7 p.m. every night because Sean and I need time to reconnect you know we're both working from home so we're together a lot now but we still need time to talk about like not work and actually talk about the new house or talk about our lives or maybe what we're gonna eat for dinner um, things not revolving around work and and as we're all working from home it is very easy to let work infiltrate your life this is something that i struggled with a lot when i first started my business which was now over a year ago super exciting um you know meraki media is now a year old so i do have more experience working from home than most people right now that have just kind of been thrown into it. And one thing that is huge is having a time where you really do just put things away. So for example, mine is normally like around three o'clock when I've hit my breaking point, my brain is mush and I need to go downstairs and go lift some weights and like get some energy released. Um, and sitting at my computer is not doing it. So set a time set real working times realistic working times sean now has even incorporated stretching into his morning routine um that's really helping him you know different things for different people but you have to get in your groove and a great way to stay off social is by totally turning your phone and your apps on silent after a certain time it will really help you not think about work anymore and the best thing about instagram and working on Instagram is that 
you can choose who you follow. You can choose who you engage with. You can choose all of that. You choose who you work with. You choose every part of Instagram and they have to choose you too. So it's a lot easier to connect with people that actually care about your brand and that actually care about getting on the phone with you. So if you get on your business Instagram account and you don't feel like every person that you're seeing you can help and support, then you really need to do an Instagram cleanse because every person that I follow, unless they're adding to my education, I only have about three accounts that add to my education that I follow. Um, then I don't follow them if they're not my ideal client. And if they aren't my ideal client, then they're probably not great at Instagram. So there's no comparing, right? Um, for you all, don't follow all of your competitors. You know, it's healthy to have competition, but sometimes it really can put us in a negative headspace. So think about combing through your followers. Think about getting rid of those people that bring you down. Um, times like this our emotions are very sensitive so you need to be sensitive to how you're feeling what you're going through and just be knowledgeable of how you can make yourself feel better because it really is all in our own hands to pull ourselves you know out of that especially as business owners so I hope that this tip of the week helped you guys today. And as I mentioned, you know, I'll show you how to snooze your apps after a certain time in my stories. You guys know I'm always here for you. If you are struggling right now, send me a DM. Let's connect. Um, and I hope to see you guys next week. And we have some awesome new tips. So keep on watching these videos. We are almost to a thousand followers. Still trying to figure out um, what fun things we might have coming up for that. But stay tuned. So I will see you guys next week and thank you so much for tuning in.